Hey guys, welcome back. Um, for my second video, I wanted to go over this makeup look here. Um, not because I'm a great makeup artist, but because I suffer from alopecia. So I have random hair loss. Um, in seventh grade, eighth grade, I noticed my left eyebrow totally disappeared. Um, I blamed it on Nair. I'm like, it was a shaving uh, accident and I got Nair on my eyebrow and that's why it totally disappeared. And it took years to grow back and I would have splotchy arms so I would have some hair on my arms or no hair at all on my arms and I would notice thinning in my hair but I've never had complete hair loss. Um, it's just small patches all over my body but typically my eyebrows and my eyelashes. Um, after my youngest son was born, all of my eyelashes fell out and I was really self-conscious. It was back before I ever did any makeup. Um, the most I would do was some mascara before I left the house. Um, so my confidence really went down and my self-esteem went down and it was a really hard time. Um, those things frame your face, your eyebrows frame your face. And I didn't have any framing. I looked like a naked mole rat. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe naked face Stacy is naked mole rat. Um, so probably about seven years ago, I started watching YouTube um, to try to figure out how to get my hair to grow back, how to make it look like I had hair um, and that's where I actually fell in love with YouTube. Um, so today I quickly go over a little bit about my eyebrows and how I do my eyeshadow to make it look like I have eyebrows. I went ahead and applied my foundation and my bronzer um, powders things like that and I'm going to focus on my eyelids and my eyebrows. Um, so I want to fill those in with eyebrow pencils. Um, I'm going to follow the hair that I currently have. This side of course is a lot more full and shapely. This one, I'm missing a lot of hair at the front and it's just a little bit scraggly um, that it, compared to the other brow. Sometimes all the hair completely falls off and I don't have any hair. Sometimes I have an eyebrow full. Um, so it's pretty hard, but once you get into that habit and it's muscle memory of how the pencil should go, I feel like that helps. So just keep practicing and just work on those angles. I don't know why, but I like to make the tail of my eyebrow a little bit longer to kind of curve down. Um, some people think it's hideous. My personal preference is I like it. Okay, so I have my brows on. All I used was that brow pencil and a little bit of Gimme Brow. Um, now we're gonna go on and fake our eyelashes. So when I look at myself in the mirror, I have probably like 10 little baby eyelashes over here. And I have some on my bottom lash, but they're not highly pigmented at all. 
so you can't see them unless you're up close looking. Um, this side, I maybe have four little eyelashes. So to conceal that and hide that, I will just put on my eyeshadow like normal and then I will make a thicker band of eyeliner than some people would prefer. That just from a distance gives the illusion that there's a shadow from the eyelashes. So, um, I'm going to do that. I get that blended out I like to take a liquid eyeliner any fine tip liquid liner will do and I like to go really close to the lash line And since I don't have any lashes, I like to go under where the lashes would sit too. And just like anybody with real eyelashes, sometimes it gets real out of control real fast. So now that I have that down, I'm going to go in with a black or a dark brown eyeshadow. And I'm going to kind of feather that on top of it and just a little bit above to give that blended look. because I really am not trying to create a thick eyeliner band. I'm really just trying to create the illusion of a shadow. Like I said, a shadow from where your eyelashes should be. fluffy brush and just kind of blend a little bit more. All right. So now I'm going to take that same black dark brown and go under the lower lash line. Again, creating a shadow. I don't know why, but this side always gets out of hand and it turns into an instant smoky look. All right, so now I feel confident in the fact that it kind of looks like I have some shadows on my face from where those eyelashes should be. Okay, so I went ahead and just slapped on some good old CoverGirl mascara on the little itty bitty lashes that I have over here. I really appreciate you watching and I hope all my alopecia girls out there um, may have learned something or if you have any tips or tricks that you use, I would love for you to leave that in the comments down below. Um, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Um, I guess that helps your YouTube channel. I'm trying to grow mine so help a girl out. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.